All right, this is a Tony El Chino game, and the title of the replay is DT Nonsense. I would caution you that the 2 one, one is meant to lose to DTs, so don't even care. If you lose to DTs, just be like, yep, he made DTs, he wins, and, and be out. Because the only alternative is to try to spot them coming, or to try to uh, get it, work an engineering bay into your build, which is going to screw everything up. Or to get a Raven first, which is in the two one one with all the gas you spend on your initial poke and your combat shields, is it doesn't really it doesn't really lend itself to getting a Raven on time. Um, so there's no good way to respond to, to to DTs without ruining your build for other for other things. So uh, the, my response to that is just to say, fine, you know, if he makes DTs, I'm gonna lose, and I'm okay with that. So again, at six minutes, you want to have nine hundred and 925 minerals with uh, con con uh, this started and you have 650 so again you supply blocked this is the third TVP of yours I've watched right now and in all of them you supply blocked before six minutes um, so 650 really bad that's 400 bucks short right uh, and now as soon as your supply block is gonna lift you're gonna spend a bunch more money but you know, you're still not at 925. You're still 50 bucks short, one marine short. Not not terrible, but not great. So even though you were way behind right at six minutes, you're only essentially eight seconds behind. And being eight seconds behind is no big deal. Worth mentioning, but not a big deal. Uh, so you're gonna push in here and see that he has nothing. And anytime you see that he has absolutely nothing like this, uh, then you just get to kind of knock down all the pylons. No, no, don't chase the stalker, kill the pylon. And this is this is why I like the 2 on one is because a lot of times Protosses will do this. They'll rush to DTs and with no defending units at the front. And then all you gotta do is kill the pylon and you kill him. This is actually one of the one of the primary reasons that I initially started doing 2 on one instead of the 1 on one is because it gives you the ability to crush people who are silly. Or just silly. So now you do uh, a huge amount of damage. He does warp in DTs and he is going to chase you away unless you stay and let, let him kill your army. Uh, but now you, you have such a huge lead that you know DTs aren't scary anymore. Plus you see them on this side of the map so you get to just wall in and, and start working on your Raven and your, and your engineering bay. And you should be fine. Plenty of time. DTs only win if they're a surprise. I mean if it's not a surprise you just throw up an engineering bay and you're fine. You're going to start getting the second scan, and the engineering bay, and the turrets, and the starport. You're going to get a raven, and as soon as you have a raven, you just kind of auto-win against DTs. But it looks like you cut infantry for a really long time while you were doing all this, so I'm a little bit worried. Also, you managed to lose a thousand dollars of guys while you walked back across the field. Pretty silly. So now you got your raven, and he's going to poke in here with DTs. Where's that DT? There it is. And it's dead. This this cuts your reinforcements, but now you know. Look like at this; is kind of ridiculous. So you did enough damage with your first poke that, that no matter what he does, he's kind of screwed. So good job. Um, and that's that's how you want to see DTs. You want to see someone straight tech to DTs like an idiot instead of uh, slow teching to DTs behind a reasonable army. Because if he'd made three sentries, he can permanently force field the ramp and then get to DTs as slow as he wants. Because with three sentries, you, you get enough energy for a force field on the first sentry before the, the the next sentry completes its force field or whatever, so you just get permanent force fields. Um, but most people who do fast tech to DTs do it like this. They get the one stalker, and they're like, I'll just use my one stalker. Like, what? That's not a defense. You can't just make one stalker. And you punish him for that, and that's great. I love that he doesn't just go attack you with the DTs. He really should have used all three of these DTs as delaying forces at least, but morphing them into an Archon is just silly. Because <laughs> now he's got this huge economy dearth and, and, and Archon, one Archon. That's helpful.